Yes, I'm sorry. Earlier, your deputy spoke on the, um, some of the tenders that were done previously. Were yeah. done. A lot of them were not open tenders. So, will there be a review and re-tendering of some of these projects? Um, it has already been done. I'll speak about this in length uh, during my pergulungan after this because there's a question, uh, there's a question in relation to that. Uh, but I've already instructed uh, the ministry to uh, stop all existing uh, projects uh, which have not exceeded 15%. That's the rule from MOF, Ministry of Finance. So there were quite a lot of projects which were stopped. And then to do a re-tendering process through open tender. The point is we want it to be a norm for open tender to happen in KBS because we want KBS to be the leading ministry when it comes to good governance and integrity. Because uh, while the past has happened, we want to ensure it will no longer repeat itself. And for that to happen, we need to ensure that KBS will be the leading ministry. So is it safe for us to say that a lot of these projects that were done by direct mm. negotiation and limited tender, will, will, you will look at it and will possibly oh. retender a lot of them? No, no, I've already done it. I'm not just going to look at it. It has been done. It has been ordered. Um, because, again, I don't want those this kind of things to continue. Sorry, in terms and of the corruption, will we see state's role? Will there be action taken? So there are already nine uh, either board members, chairmen, directors of uh, respective bodies under KBS like Perbandanan Padang Gol Subang, IRIS, Perbandanan Stadium Malaysia, Institute Sukarnagara, which uh, I've sent them a thank you note and removed them. Um, these are political appointees, people with uh, direct uh, membership of AMNO and also in leadership position like Ketua Pemuda uh, or Ketua Bahagian and they will be replaced with uh, non-political members. Uh, so again, I'll talk about, more about that later. Dari segi apa nama ni, uh, tender terhad dan sebagainya, uh, tidak ada apa-apa yang kita buat yang uh, tidak mengikut uh, peraturan yang ditetapkan oleh Kementerian Kewangan. Uh, dan segala dokumen uh, berkenaan dengan perolehan KBS lengkap dan uh, saya sedia untuk uh, membantu timbalan menteri-menteri untuk uh, menjelaskan apa saja kemusykilan yang ada uh, ataupun mana-mana pihak ya sekiranya dirujuk kepada uh, jabatan audit negara ataupun SPRM saya tidak ada masalah